This is a reminder of why you need a comprehensive cybersecurity practice, not just a point in time and visibility of your environment. So this video is about the tool shell vulnerability and the timeline of events that transpired all the way to hundreds of organizations being actually observed being victims of this attack. So back in May, researchers identified vulnerability with SharePoint. So this here was disclosed at Palm Tree on Berlin. At the beginning of July, Microsoft released a Patch Tuesday patch to co cover that which is fine, I guess, but the problem was that later, a few researchers found out that these patches were incomplete. They were partially addressing the problem. So that is where on the 14th of July, Code White, another research set of researchers, reproduced the same chain of attacks. So then on the 18th of July, a cybersecurity research company called iSecurity had some of their customers covered by CrowdStrike EDR identifying post-exploitation events. This is where they started making a larger research into this topic and identified of this actual vulnerability, zero-day vulnerability being exploited in the wild. So as since then, they started putting out more research on some of their findings and other organizations too, of course. And at that point, the community started getting together, gathering together to actually start deploying post-exploitation capabilities that would help at least monitor and identify. So it took uh, Microsoft a couple days to assign CVE numbers to the zero-day vulnerabilities. So imagine this, sit two days to have the CVEs assigned to them, only after that, can they can then vulnerability management capabilities and uh, practices actually start tracking it. So for a few days, there were a lot of organizations that were essentially blind to it if they did not have the proper post-exploitation technologies. This is where we get to a point where by the 21st of July, um, CrowdStrike had a public po blog post stating that fuel servers and a next wave of attack resumed, right? So by the 23rd of July, TechCrunch was reporting that hundreds of uh, organizations in the in the US were actually targeted, including some very critical infrastructure organizations. And that is a very quick timeline look as of 26th of July of what happened to the tool shell vulnerability up until today, of course, and a stark reminder why we need be better practices and of course, a comprehensive cybersecurity approach, not only tool that can block and prevent known attacks, but tools that will allow you to monitor your environment in full in order to be able to paint a complete picture of what's actually going on between different processes in your environment and uh, even network connections as well.